Now to a developing story looking at Wall Street this morning. It's been sort of a bumpy start to the new week. Investors have been dumping technology stocks like Bay Area's NVIDIA after reports of a Chinese AI software that rivals its U.S. counterparts for a fraction of the cost. In fact, the startup known as DeepSeek overtook ChatGPT on the Apple App Store. So a lot to talk about here because... This is something resonating right here in the Bay Area. Joining me now is cybersecurity expert and San Jose State Professor Ahmed Banafa. Thank you so much for joining us. We always want to Thank talk you. about the headlines as they bubble up. And literally, we're seeing that ripple effect hit our wallets and Wall Street today. What is this deep seek and why is it making such waves? Well, that's, that's a very good question. It's actually AI disrupting AI. That's what happened. Now, AI, any model for AI built on three things. The first one is the data. The second is the hardware, which is the NVIDIA, and the third one is the algorithm, which is the programming. Now, what happened with the, uh, with this the Chinese version DeepSeek, and I used it. I have it on my system. I have it on my phone. Um, it's really similar to ChatGPT. Uh, answers are similar. Uh, even the design is, 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 is the same. Now, what they have done is they have their programming or their algorithm open source, meaning that anybody can contribute to this to make it better. And that's actually saved them a lot of time and a lot of you know shortcuts to a better design. Uh, the only one in in you know in town that is using open source is uh, Meta. They had the Llama is an open source. Yeah. So this is how they managed to get this one cheap. You know, I want to get your take on this because it sort of smacks of the space race between the U.S. and Russia, right? right. Now we're starting to see this race in the area of technology, especially as it speaks to AI between the U.S. and China. Do you see those similarities right now in the modern age? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, one time they're ahead of us, and uh, one time they're ahead, we are ahead of them. The, this model, the you know, deep seek, is, uh, is actually something which is built specifically for certain tasks, not like ChatGPT, which is creative, can answer any questions about everything. So they managed to say, okay, not everything the user is going to use, going to ask about it. So why don't we, we don't have to have all this data, which is really expensive to train because they train their system. When you're talking about training the system, it's using the data to run the program. So it answers the question. And they, they spent $5.6 million compared to over $100 million or maybe more for the other system like ChatGPT4. So they found a magical way of knowing what the people are looking for and just give them this uh, function if have instead of having a, a big uh, general you know uh, model that uh, you can ask any question you want well last week on cbs news 24 7 i had the opportunity to go live as president donald trump introduced three billionaires who were saying they were going to infuse hundreds of millions of dollars into this race for ai do you think that that is why there is such an emphasis on this this spirit of competition and the need to in, in, infuse more money into this race uh, the the project which is Stargate uh, that's uh, yep. about five hundred billion dollars. Uh, that's the uh, up to five hundred billion dollars, and it's going to start in Texas and spread all over the country. Now the the goal of companies like, uh, <coughs> for example, OpenAI or or Google or uh, you know or you're talking about Microsoft is to have the the uh, general artificial intelligence. In the case of DeepSeek, they are trying to serve the uh, needs of the market. Like, uh, you know, I ask question, and you know, I even read, I even ask these the DeepSeek a question: Why you are better than ChatGPT for and for less money? And the answer was clear: I am something called small learning, you know, model. Meaning, I don't, you know, train myself in things that rarely use. Only whatever the customers are looking for. This is how they save money. All right, Professor, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, you know, this news breaking today, we know it has great consequence here in the Bay Area. NVIDIA really driving the markets in recent months. And so if there's an effect there, it's something to talk about. We hope to have you back on soon.